Sly Coopius. Last time on Sly Cooper, Sly slowly slid slyly through the swampy southern swamplands, fighting a slimy scaly. In the bayou! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play. Now we're going Kung Fu Panda. Yep. We're going to meet Poe. I never saw that movie. Ch uh, I saw the sequel. I never saw the original. Okay. All I know is <laughs> It was that a very weird watch. Like, real, like... Cause the, cause the beginning of the movie was basically this the summarization. The, the well, no, the first it was just this panda to use his friends to fight. I'm like, oh hey, this is a pretty good way to start. Just yeah. don't get don't just say hey we you, Jack Black. <laughs> yeah, been a while since we did Sly. Yeah, it, it always is. At least it hasn't been a year this time. It hasn't been a year. I think it's been a few months though. Yeah, we're uh, we're we're making a, a conscientious effort. <laughs> Twenty eight. <a>. Fuck. <laughs> To uh, get through games more regularly, and again, we'll be able to stream more often in the summer because I'll have, well, I'll be able to stream more often. Well, I will if I. Well, either way, I feel like ours will match up better. Yeah. No, I never saw Kung Fu Panda. All I know is that it features a remixed version of Everybody Was Kung Fu Fighting without the word Chinaman in it. Oh, so basically the beginning of the. Hold on. Oh, cutscene. Poor, poorly equalized cutscene. Yep. Oh. And Panda Bubba? Voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson? Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. Aw, that's cute. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, he oh. couldn't see past his shabby clothes. It looked like a shabby firework. Yeah. yeah. The Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art to crime. So, the Demolitions guy. Yep. The Demolitions expert. Yep. And from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. So, hit. Perfecting some new firework technique high in the So, his fists are on fire, too? Yeah, because cause of Chinese martial arts. Oh. Sly Cooper in. Enter the, rawr, enter the rawr. panda. Enter the panda. Please let it be. Enter the panda. Fire in the sky. Oh. It's just... Smoke on the water. It's just Genma. <laughs> just Genma the panda. Rawr, rawr. Well, no one would expect a legitimate panda to be like an arms dealer. The cops would laugh him out of out of any way. Like, this guy is, specializes in explosives. I bet Genma could beat him in just straight-up martial arts. Right, let me, uh... Oops. Oh right, we have the we have the swim ability. I, at least I hope. Okay, good. Yeah, we don't we Sorry, don't I'm die from to, that. I'm anymore. trying to double check what my. Uh... It's been months since we played. Every time we play a game again, Jack has to relearn the controls. <laughs> don't have to relearn the combat system at least. Right just there. whack stuff. Oh. Oh right, the shoulder the bumpers change abilities. No, this. Oh, circle. is that? This is just circle. Huh. So I guess if we press circle anywhere, we have a uh, stealth now. Yeah. Slow. Pretty good. The slow brothers are robbing you blind. Oh, and Puff the Potter. slow. Oh my God! Just, 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 just two slow pokes, and they, they. You know what? You know why they're? Oh damn it! I'm dead. Can still fall. Game over. Oh well, at least we got more lives. It's not it's not the drowning that kills you, it's hitting the water. Yeah. It's just I can't drown though! Nah, it's fine. You'll you'll die just by hitting it. You too too long posing, guy. Yeah, Pokemon is another thing that we're uh, still in the middle of. Yeah, I Well that that I don't need to relearn. I I know that like the back of my hand, except when I don't. That, I know how that, to play that basically. That's I, more okay, I think, to take in to take breaks, longer breaks from. Yeah, because like the, these games, I want to get through though. Oh, this, this like game? Sly and Rayman and uh, what was the third one? Uh, Sonic. Sonic gotta Shuffle. Got to get through more Sonic games. We we still got to get to the best ones. Yeah, the better like Sonic one. Sonic 06. Sonic 06. We don't play any of the good ones. We just play the shitty. Well, no, we played. We're gonna Avengers. play Heroes, yeah. which is very mixed opinions oh. on. Uh, for chucking, me especially. Chucking I, dudes at us. Oh, I guess there's nothing over here. Alright, I'm going in. Oh, it's like it's like Donkey Kong. He's, just, he's got a tie. Scarf thing. Alright, 
well, now we have time to explore. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything. No, I don't see nothing either. There's nothing down here. Maybe. Nothing over. Maybe they'd have, like, a platform under the bridge or something. Uh, let me... Move the camera around. Ah! Don't scare me like that, Sly! Sly, except voiced by David Hayter. <laughs> hey, I want... Oh, man, that would've been cool. David just... They gave him a role after, like, his performance on as Snake. And after just, Konami just abandoned Metal Gear. Oh, man, Sly is the new... Uh, David Hayter is the new Sly. That'd be pretty cool. What Not uh lie. So Sly hasn't Sly already had his uh his collection. That was that despite Sly being the newer series, he got his trio collection on like the PS3 last generation. Yeah. And it took Crash and Spyro way longer to get theirs. Yep. I was gonna say, Sly hasn't been on uh, Switch, I don't think. No. Oh so, uh, not likely for Smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's awful! So, he's a terrorist, basically. He's just blowing up random villages. Chinese terrorist, that's new. Anyway. I mean, I guess. Is he demanding something from the other villages? I, I you, you haven't been paying my fiefdom, like, Like, you're not enough. a terrorist just for blowing things up. That's just a you, psychopath. You, <laughs> hey, that, those could overlap. Yeah. Oh, you killed dead. Can I can I destroy those guys? I feel like I, I can. Probably. All right. If well, you hit them right. Well, let's do it. So we are uh, distinct, sorely lacking in horseshoes. Yeah, we can. Yeah, no horseshoes yet. Wow! Gotta avoid the Steven Tyler monkeys. All right. Let us see. Uh. More We're on a bridge. Ooh. Okay, Car Carmelita Fox, why aren't you dealing with this shit? Why are you only concerned about this one? Oh, wow. Well, because the panda's not sexy. That's that's why she got has to go after Sly. Because because she secretly because oh, oh. ulterior motives. No, there's a wall here. Can't go through. Can't fit through the hole. Darn it. All right. Raccoons aren't very uh. Aren't good at sliding into. Th oh shit! I yeah. got lucky. I got so lucky. Don't want to get brained by those. No, no, that would, that would be. That would Icicles are deadly. Oh man, I. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad more games are like uh, Hong Kong '82 or what was it? Hong Kong '98. Hong Kong '97. Yeah, where where you like you lose. Na, 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 na. Well, no, I'm more specifically referring to the to uh, where they would just. Uh, like if you die, they would show you a dead body. Oh yeah. That's what uh, that's what that game did. Is like. I know nothing about the game other than the song. Yeah. Well, if in that game, if you lose, uh, they they show really you, punish you. Yeah, they show you a picture of a dead body. Oh. Allegedly, it looked like many people looked at them like, I think that's a dead body. Yeah. But you know, pretty graphic. So. If you get impaled by an icicle, they'd show an image of a, of a, like, a raccoon just skewered. Yeah. Like, like, just, it's straight up. That'd be fucking twisted. I'm glad they don't do it. Okay. Yeah! Fireworks show! Is it Chinese New Year's yet? We need, uh, we need anime music playing. That, that, that was what we played the last time we had fireworks on this stream. <laughs> Alright, let us continue. Are those... Oh no, I, I thought the coins were like fists. Good old Chuck Norris coins. Huh. No! You didn't see anything! Alternatively, you can just press circle, because you have invisibility now. <laughs> I could have, but that was funnier. <laughs> just I'm not the... here! <laughs> You'll never detect the slow brothers. Yeah, they, they're masters of the long con. Because they can just take it slowly. Their schemes don't pay off for like... Ten, for like decades, but when they pay off... Oh, they, do they fucking pay off. Slow Brothers sounds like uh, like an enemy that Sonic would fucking fight. Yeah. <laughs> just... 
Like how fu one of the fucking enemies for the Flash was a guy called, like, the Turtle Master or something. What? Master Roshi? <laughs> like, I... <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sure Flash would have some trouble fight... Fighting a crazy old martial arts master? Yeah, with, like, energy blasts. Yeah. Then again, he is the Flash, and DC superheroes are notoriously, uh... Overpowered. Yeah. Fucking bottle Superman up. is... Mr. Bottle up here before you jump down. Because it's, uh... There we go. I can't go back up here? I, I don't know. I assume not. I'm not sure. Not right. Better be safe, I guess. Oh, that's the catch. Just bear coin. Wow, we're still short a lot. Is this halfway through the level? Is it? Thir we have we're less than halfway there out of 30. 14 out oh, of 30. 30? Fuck. Uh, oh, you, you can. Because it leads back out here. So. Oh, right, yeah. Blech! Thanks for playing. Come again. Probably a lot of saves were missing. Oh, hold on. Talk about Rainbow. Invisible! I think if they walk in, like, bump into you, they'll still detect you, so. Good to know. Talked about potentially doing Rayman today, too, but uh, we'll get this out of the way and do Rayman sometime soonish. Yeah. That'll be at least another two streams. I want, I'm i realistically going to guess it'll take us four total for Rayman. Oh, oh, shit! What if you're invisible now? No, it's not going to work. Oh. If you're detected, it doesn't work. Yeah, because they'll be looking for you. Is that... Oh, he's still oh, on the... still working. Yeah, the music changes when you're detected, is how you can tell. Save point. Oh, don't get the key. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> First so there's some on the ground and some on the walls. They're on the walls! I think I mentioned this on a previous stream. We're planning to have Sandy over in the very near future. Yes! Sandy can come over and... For, I'm, st I'm still hopeful for the PS3 stream. I want to do the... The Mod Nation and or Little Big Planet. Oh, show off the legendary track. Tracks. Get, get, track! Yeah, tracks is more... Well, that one was Road Rockets, but I, I have plenty of weird ones, as you are well aware. Yes. Check the other side. We've been on this one already. Uh, right. So we are still missing one. Right Two trailer park there balls. There it is. There we go. Trailer park balls. Two trailer park girls go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. What, like a rim job? <laughs> I think that's the joke. Guess who's back? Back again. Panda King sounds like the name of a shitty Chinese restaurant. Well, maybe it'd be a great Chinese restaurant. Yeah, no, that's Panda Express. <laughs> Okay, okay, if you say so. <laughs> Get the, go back to the vault in the building. Oh, yeah, you're right. Fuck. Alright. At least I don't, I'm not No cold. Chinese restaurant can be great without carrying General Sao, and Panda Express does not have General Sao. You are correct on that. I got a real headache figuring this one out. Oh, yeah? Input 578. Headache. You had to, uh. <laughs> When he said that, he had to look at a magic eye image. Yeah. And just stare at it. Alright, what does this one do? This just gets better and better. What is it? I always heard that one of your southern ancestors... Southern? ...developed a technique go to move while staying invisible. Oh. Yeah! Well, we just broke the game. Alright! Oh yeah, I figured this other guy would do that because they're masters at hunting and shit. Just yeah. ghillie suits and, and like... Alright, today on Bigfoot Hunters. I mean, it's not like it's quick. Look at this shit. Not yet. Oh, this other guy. The final ability you unlock is the ability to move full speed while invisible. Oh. You know, after you have any reason to use it. Yeah. Mario 64 uh, method. Oh, we need it. Yeah, go get the key. You get the best. Well, at that point, it's just a kick in the balls. I'd rather if uh, if you do have like a hundred a thing to unlock at hundred percent completion, it's something like wacky. Yeah. Like uh, you also unlock the. Uh... 
Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of you get access to time trials, and then by clearing all the time trials, you get uh, developer commentary, which you can play through the game with. See something like that. There was this. Uh, the only like the first developer commentary I listened to was for uh, st the Star Wars Episode One like fighter game. Yeah. And uh, and some devs were marking that we were trying to make it so that players could, like, shoot birds down from the sky, yeah. but then the AI would start targeting them, and it became a game of, like, flaming birds, and the staff were just laughing about that. You mean fun? Y yeah! <laughs> so did they include that feature? You can still shoot the birds down, the AI won't target them, though. Oh. I is Jar Jar playable? No. It. It's uh, some other dude. You basically, like, you either fight on the ground in speeders, or you fight in the sky using, uh... The game is called Star Wars Episode One: Battle for Naboo. Oh, I thought you were talking about Rogue Squadron. No, that was Rogue Squadron. Alright. So basically it's a way to just get out of the way if they're gonna hit you. You can walk right, th right into him, as long as you don't touch him. <laughs> this is not, this is not going... <laughs> oh, you mean like, uh, like Ty? Yeah. Yoo-hoo! Oh. Hey, Digi Dorks! <laughs> Digi Dorks? Did they somebody drop that line? No, but it sounds like something they would say. Yeah. Okay. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. We'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. Are those the only fire fireworks? We can't find some that aren't padlocked. Those are specifically designed for armor piercing capabilities. Kuroshi? No, he's Japanese. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Be on guard for any surviving villager. Who comes looking for revenge? <laughs> He's genre savvy. All right, let's get let's get going. So they weren't like paying. Oh, is this another turret game? Mini game. Of some of some form. Well, let's get it out. Of the so way. they weren't playing paying protection money, I guess, or taxes as he calls it. Yeah. Right on. I'll keep him covered. Let's do it! I'm ready, Sly! Oh, and you can't hit him, remember. Yeah. Cue the Crash Bandicoot music. Oh, that even sounded like a Crash Bandicoot effect. Yeah. Zoom out, please! Do you not control the zoom? No, the zoom just happens. Oh, just monkeys with fucking... Nunchucks? Rapid fire fireworks. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, that's impractical as shit. No, it's, it's cool though, you like it, right? Firework platform. <laughs> oh. Sorry, uh, invert. It's actually significantly easier than the other one. Yeah? Or I'm just gotten good at it, I don't know. <laughs> flink, flink, flink. Oh. Halfway. Oh, that's not bad. I wonder if you shoot at those platforms if they blow up. Can you please zoom out, game? I would really appreciate it. Oh, shit! Thought you hit him for a second. Yeah, it's a good thing you ducked. Sorry, Murphy! Murphy. Buddy Murphy. Oh, the key's up there. Yo, Sly, I got a bad what feeling about going on this adventure with you. <laughs> Get out of the way! By the way, that guy was flying on a platform. <laughs> yeah, he like, was. <laughs> that surprised you? <laughs> just like, hello! Just plenty of time for me to just fucking shoot the guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they found me, Shrek! Oh, is it like a raid? Now it zooms out. Yeah. Lets you know where they're coming from. 
Sly and his uh, sixth sense of where enemies will be. <laughs> so this is why spotters are there. They like call out like, oh. So do these giant guys have like guns, or are they just gonna start flinging themselves? They're at firing the. Uh, rock. Oh, hey, cool! Oh, First sorry. try. That's awesome. Gotta have the big dumb guy music. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, that was easy. Yep. That was, uh, that was pretty, uh, that was a good warm-up. Let us go to the main course now. Next world! Probably behind that guy. Wherever that is. You can't see me. That is, here's a wild Bigfoot. We're gonna sneak up on him real quiet like and then get him! <laughs> we got him! The unseen foe. Me! I'm very unseen. I'm in practically invisible. All right, let us slowly take our time. We don't want to get. We don't want to get seen by snipers. No, that'd be bad. Those exist. All right, let's just get. All right, back to bottles. How many? Thirty. Has there uh, been a Carmelita level in every world? Uh, thus far? I think every other world. I don't think the swamp had a Car Carmelita chase. No, it didn't. So it's probably one of this one. Do we have to go through the door? Can we just go through the? Yay! Awesome. That see, that's how you do it, like a true thief. Just yeah. Oh, conveyor belts. Okay. Are those like? Oh wow. Are those like Arabian carpet conveyor belts? Okay. Sounds good. It's a trick! He's not real invisibility. He just placed mirrors around the stage. <laughs> work, work for that guy in JoJo. Which one? Son. Oh, the son, yeah. Yeah, that's how he, that's how he managed to, like, stay uh, hidden. He just was like, I'm gonna place a mirror. I'm gonna drive a mirror truck. Oh, and if you break the bottle, so no something's up. Of course. The bottles are now a trap. I think even if he's not looking at them, the sound will alert him. Just clicking, and then you can see it from his pers slice perspective, and it's just like thermal vision. Just... He just he just sees a bottle break with no like input. Oh, it's a ghost! Oops. Let's try that yeah, again. Just, we're gonna whack him. There we go. Let's try to get behind him, but all right. There we, we go. think it, Daniel son. Uh, check. Are you sure you got everything inside that building? Uh, no. I, I. No, there's just more coins in there. We're just breaking vases. Like he's a van. Like Sly's a vandal. Unless this is implying that he's like. Grabbing them and then selling them for a profit. That's that's what I've always assumed. He is he's not actually like shattered. Well you gotta split it up so it'd be easier to move. Then you'd be yeah. then you piece it back together. Uh is there a way to get up there? Not yet. Okay. How do we get over to him? Oh we got the Paper lanterns all over there. Yeah. Like, like we joked about like the the casino level being like poorly maintained. This is too immaculately maintained. This requires daily maintenance in order to work, in order for the place to like not burn down. Yeah. Which makes this guy a much better boss than the other suckers. Than the idiot who let uh, power lines into his flooded casino. Yeah, I should yeah. hope so. So nothing can hurt me, like, not the lasers, not... Nope. So this is designed to be able to be done with, uh, just stationary invisibility. That was lucky me. We've got it, uh, slightly easier with the mobile version. We got the invisibility app. <laughs> 
Oh man, just an app that makes you go invisible when you enable it? That'd be creepy. That sounds like the plot of a hentai dojo. Oh, yeah, just... I mean, you, you've already, I've already seen one that are like hypnosis apps and uh, all sorts of other... There was like... Hypnosis what? app sounds more plausible. Drink... Not so much like, more like Gios app, like you, uh, like just people do what you say. Yeah, that's uh... not actually like you hold up, hold it up and hypnotize them, but I'm sure that also exists. That probably, yeah, that is a trope. And uh, Dream Note, that was one. Remember oh, that? Oh God, Dream Note. That was. Uh... It wasn't a good one. No, it wasn't good at all. Just, just Jack and Zelrog hentai reviews. See, the thing, the problem about a Dream Note is that it didn't really, aside from, you know... Wasn't the lead guy just a super chauvinistic asshole? Yes, that, that, yeah. It wasn't, like, kinky at all. It was just, like, I'm just gonna use this to, like, to, Abuse like... Use these girls? Yes. And, and he did. It wasn't even like they were unaware. He just writes a person's name in the note, and it goes and, like, and, like, fucks her, and... Like, the note was totally irrelevant. Yeah! Way to, way to utilize your gimmick, asshole. Also, you're a terrible person. I don't know. So I, sly. I'm, I'm noticing I like stuff more when people are both sides on or enjoying it. Just, life's too short to be abusing people. What, you, 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 why'd you make that face? I didn't make a face at all. I mean, <laughs> everyone has their tastes. And there are well-executed ways to do both. All right. That is not one of them. Speaking Dream of, Note is not one of them. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. It's not even fun as like an ironic thing. Like it didn't a, make a place on the Zelrog Hentai Awards. Therefore, it's not worth it. Not even like good or bad. All right. Next part. Fuck your, fuck your shit. All right. Save point. Checkpoint. 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 Oh, another one that I... A game that I mentioned a couple times was the, uh... Surprisingly good Emperor's New Groove game on PS1. Surprisingly good, huh? Is that something that you'd want to be around for, or should I just solo that? Uh, fuck it, I'll play it. Uh oh Uh-oh. They thought of this. So we can use the movement to hold our... You can keep moving. It'll, like, hold our place on the line. As opposed to if it were mobile, we'd have to, like, fight the current. Yeah. We... Lots of vases. Oh my fine vases, they're gone! Also, is this is this guy the most egotistical of them? His face is everywhere. Yeah. Even more so than the frog guys. I, I'd say so. <laughs> Looks like that Newgrounds face. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's just a really big fan of Newgrounds. So between... I feel like there's a... So there's this guy, there's Panda Bubba in Shaolin Showdown. I feel like there's a third Panda mob boss that I'm forgetting about. Uh, okay, hold on, don't go down yet. Uh, check around. Was the guy in, uh, in Shaolin Showdown actually a panda? On the left. On the left? In the building. Oh, in the building. Wait, you, there's a building? Right there. Oh, fuck. A whole room you missed. Uh, I have no excuse, I'm wearing my glasses. And then obviously there's a, not a crime boss, but Genma from Ranma. He might as well be a crime boss. And a character. He's pretty pretty big asshole father at times. Oh, I remember that scene in Mulan where they were just gliding down and just knocking all the paper and lamps yeah. out. Boing! Oh, I need to do something about that. Got it. No, Panda Bubba was not actually a panda. He just had the motif of one. Wait, well, hold on. Who... What saw me? I don't know. You? I guess so. Not anymore. Fuck you. Oh, now there's a... Fuck you too! Ninja star lady. Monkey. Is it a monkey lady? Monkey lady. Yeah, because monkeys are common in this uh, part of Indochina. I think it's Indochina. It could be somewhere else. It could just be regular China. It could be... It could be Hong Kong. Yes. Well... Unless Hong Kong, Hong Kong was hit with a nuclear winter, probably not. That's where Jade is from. Oh, oh who, who Something's that be? here. I'll, I'll get it. All right. What? Keep playing. Keep on calling. I'm sorry. Keep on calling. What the fuck? 
All right, uh, I'll keep playing. All right. Uh, China. The level artistry. Too. I'll be right back. What happened? <laughs> the fact he didn't say anything just worries me. I'm very easily worried. Alright, let me... I don't have Zellrock here to guide my, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, shit! Wrong one! Okay, got it. Alright, I'm almost done. But got a third of the way to go. Let's hope I can find it. Alright. Climb up. Stealth games have a special place in my heart. Uh, other stealth games I've played besides uh, my aborted playthrough of uh, was it Wrath of the Ninja or something of the Ninja? Is that game that PC Ninja game with stealth mechanics and a nice uh, art drawn uh, like uh, style? But th there was also uh, I really hope I'm not fucking up here. Going up there. Here. Now I'm paranoid. Noided. I'm probably fine. Alright. Also, the Splinter Cell series was pretty fun. I, well, I played the first one, and that was very difficult. By my standards, obviously. Okay. Just cheesing this out. Back. What happened? Neighbor needed help lifting something. Oh, that's good. I would have. I would have been useless. What did I miss? Ninja pandas. Uh, Panda ninjas. Yeah. Panda pandas. I, got, I grabbed a bunch of stuff from the tower. I'm, I think I'm at twenty bottles right now. I don't know if it's like. I think I'm fine. Ninja ninjas. <laughs> Yo, Afro. The, would the triad employ ninjas? Probably. I'm sure there were Chinese ninjas in some capacity. Uh oh, just where's the alarm? Oh, I got it. All right. I was uh, I was thinking about how e how trivial the walking with uh, visibility makes this uh, section. Yeah. Because it's no longer just fun jumping. It's just oh, I'm just gonna creep. I'm gonna creep steadily. Last section. The Spiral building. Ninjas. Konoichi. Konoichi. I am missing one. More useful than Sakura. I would. I would wager. Well, there's uh, more you, level yet. Keep going. I don't know. Keep Let's, going. Here's the thing. Sakura has obvious talent. She just squanders it. It was in that. We're in the middle of the of the tea village Idate race filler yeah. arc right now. Race for tomorrow. And it's the first time that Sakura has displayed any like the super strength thing. Uh oh. What? Uh. We haven't reached the end of the level yet. There could be one more around. I certainly hope so. Fuck off. Wait. At the, at the top of the spire. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. So I have to wonder if. Uh, they included that in the filler arc because, uh, like, the manga had gotten to a point. It was Why? No, nope, I'm going down here. This is what you meant when you press circle. And then dead. It's fine. This will it'll be. It is actually quicker if I do it this way. If they got it from the manga, or if they just. Uh, All right, I'm gonna do it the regular way. Or if they just predicted that, like accidentally. <laughs> Yeah, it looked what? like you hit those a couple times there. Well, I'm good at what I do. I that I'm was the best raccoon ever. <laughs> That's not till later. Uh, or maybe uh, I I hope that like, the least likely situation, but would be cool if it was true, is if Kishimoto, Kishimoto saw that episode and he's like, 
hey, that's cool, I should use that. And then he gave Sakura super strength canonically. I hope so. Like, super strength. She needs something. Yeah, she doesn't got anything. It, it's just, it's, first, first of all, it's inherently funny for a, a girl that tiny to be able to just grab, like, some large shit and just be, like, the Incredible Hulk when she gets pissed off. That's just, that's just funny. It probably was just a sight gag originally. Which is a shame. You can still swing vertically after that, can't you? There we go. There we go. Turdy. Thirty. We got that there, Turdy. All right, what's the story of this? Bentley. What's the story of this code, Bentley? Or is this just gonna be the? Uh, oh, we got the blueprints one. <laughs> one off. One number off. They knew better. It was a challenge. <laughs> Which is like, oh, this was somewhat difficult, but not like that difficult. Yeah. It's just incredible. Incredible. Prodigious. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. Huh? Oh, no death from falling. So no more falling deaths. Period. Sweet. Sweet. Except in lava, if there's any of that. I well, guess. There, there's they they can't, haven't found a technique to get rid of that. No. So no uh, fireproof shoes yet. All right. So now we gotta go down the. What was it that uh, Chris invented for Sonic? They were like water running boots, right? Oh, they were some kind. Of, no, they were for space or something. He got like water shoes for an episode as well. Oh yeah. Him making explosives? No. He has no precedent for that. Are you fucking kidding me? Look, go to the platforms. Oh. You see the platforms? Oh, yeah. I was just gonna jump down there like fucking Eon Like an Flux. idiot? Yeah. Like, it, that, that'd be you bad. say like an idiot? Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have You cool were looking I, at that, and you, you're, you knew that it was impossible. I was, I was seeing if it could be done. Oh, uh -huh, nothing is impossible. Yeah, damn right. Don't you forget it. Besides, I would hit the water and died, so... Not like... Jocumo plays the impossible game, does it one try? <laughs> well, no, he... The point is, is that if you fail, you can always just try again. I know. It's not impossible. Just bloody unlike... Jocumo seems to be the type of person where it's like, you at least should try, but if you try and fail, he's like, Oh, can't win them all, I guess. The lesson is, never try. Maybe a bit of In there. Here we go. Stealth mode activated, mother... Oh. Boo. Flaming Temple of Flame! <laughs> That's right up there with the Hall of Saws! A actually, actually, it's a misnomer. The entire temple's covered in ice. Yeah. Well, it used to be flaming. No, oh, no, okay. Not all... <laughs> Is that what he calls this nightclub? Flaming Temple of Flame? Yeah. Maybe it's not flaming yet, but it's going to be set on fire. Maybe that's the, that's what it's about. Oh, I hope so. Because Maybe it's just Because right now the temple looks a bit lackluster. It's just called the Temple of Flame, but, uh... But it's about to live up to the name. Oh, yeah, we're going to set this place on fire. Is there anything up here? Nope. Nada. All right then. <laughs> Whee! Hey! Oh, well, I was slower than when Mulan did it. I could just uh, walk through it invisible, but that's actually cooler. Or we could just jump through it. I mean, you get one free hit. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to waste that hit. I don't want to squander it. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not talking about the horseshoe. Like, you can touch lasers once and then they'll just turn red. Uh oh. So you can just run through it as long as you're fast enough. 25, slightly more forgiving. I was talking about other stealth games I used to play, like, uh... Like, uh, Splinter Cell. Yeah? I... Splinter Cell was pretty fun. It was... It was a level where, uh, you had to infiltrate the CIA like, the actual Langley headquarters, and it was very harrowing, because it was just a bunch of offices, no place to really hide out, and it was just like, fuck, 
Did you fight Stan Smith? Uh, who? American bad guy. Oh. Uh, no, I think he wasn't in the office at the time. Oh. He was, uh, somewhere else. Stan. Oh, yeah! Damn it, I didn't know his last name. I just knew him as Stan. Yeah. Alternatively, the... you could have said Stan from American Dad, and I would have been like, oh, yeah, him! And the Roger ended up being named Roger Smith. Or the alien. Same name as Big O Guy. <laughs> Cast in the name of He God. not guilty. Oh, he sure. Well, I certainly hope not. Doesn't it mean I'm sorry. What was it? I don't know. You're too apologetic. Yes. All right, let's do it the normal way. Okay. So what the fuck's the point? Of the lasers. Well, just... They detect falling. Oh, okay. They detect, like, unskilled thieves who are bad at Unlocks. platforming. You have to be this skilled, uh, this much of a skilled thief to progress. You must be this skilled to rob me. Uh, uh, those... that... <laughs> By the way, those are some, uh, those are some Sean Wow swords, the ones on the, on the oh, back. Oh, God! Just some fake-ass, uh... Like the squiggly ones? Oh, man. I always forget his name. Shen Du? No, that was Jackie Chan Adventures. Yeah, Sean... Ron Tao? No. Uh, Sean... Sean. There's just Sean. Well, who's he from? Mulan. The bad guy from Mulan. Oh, uh, Shen... Shen Du. Something, something, something Mongolian. Uh, Mongol. What? <laughs> Sean the Mongolian. Yeah. <laughs> He's an enemy of Dave the Mon Barbarian. Mongolian shot! You remember that? Dave the Barbarian. What was he? That he was, was a Disney Channel show. Oh. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, I missed that. I, I was... You forget, I was watching Cartoon Network most of my life. I was also watching Cartoon Network. And nothing else! Yeah. It was only Cartoon Network! No Nickelodeon? Uh... They're, they're well, too busy training to notice you. Okay. Look how disciplined they are. Hey, guy, uh... You having some trouble standing there, Sly? <laughs> Alright, let us... Oh, that's why they let call us... it the Flaming Temple of Fire. Let us proceed to rob the place blind. No, not gonna stop me? Hey, uh, hey, uh, Chin Chin, uh... <laughs> is there, uh, is that guy stealing our bases? It doesn't matter, keep training! Can you whack the poles? Yes, you can. Now let's focus. That's pretty cool. Don't stop training for anything or you will disrespect your ancestors. We, we may not be ready for this threat, boys, but the next thief who comes to raid our temple will kick his ass. Ah. Oh. But he had such aspirations for being the, the next Shaolin dragon. How did take out the other guy? Better aim? Maybe you start you started from the Oh! Now I am Shaolin Dragon! Ah! <laughs> Look at me! I am so disciplined! Oh, dang it. Ah, fuck it. Oh, come on! Temple genocide? You're gonna, you're gonna spawn like a, a, a Taguro. Yes, that's I how, am. That's his backstory. Well, you know Someone what? fucked up his temple. <laughs> that's his... Somebody fucked up his temple and he became... Yeah, a, like his... Oh, yeah, that's right! Somebody fucked up his temple, his his temple and he became a demon to, like, you know, get revenge. He was like a self-loathing. No, he got revenge before he became a demon, then wished to be a demon after killing the guy. You know, to justify that. Man, I feel bad for Taguro sometimes. Yeah. Another time... He didn't even really... His brother was just an asshole then. Yeah. You think he this became a demon first? The older brother? The young, yeah, the, the elder. Probably, maybe. He's that was like, probably his wish all along. You like, don't hey, really get to see human elder Tagoro much or what his backstory was. Maybe he was like the sweetest dude that became a demon and that just all got erased. He was just easily corruptible. Yeah. Maybe he was the originally against it. You're really committed to killing these monkeys. They, they deserve... They have to die. It's they, a matter of honor. They had to go. Let, he can be the one to tell the story. 
The final apprentice. Do you want to... <laughs> Master you your hatred! Oh, wait, no, I, I know how to take this guy out. You go over here, right? And then I jump up here. And then I jump up here. Alternatively, you can just proceed through the level and you'll reach the roof. I'll be back for you! Hey, there we go. Blue sparkles. Oh. Alright. Don't slip, Sly. Slip and fall and... Oh, jeez. This statue's really hot. Why is it so hot up here? I... This was a mistake. RIP! And thus the temple was destroyed! Supervillain code of conduct. Never leave survivors. They always come back for revenge. Yeah. Well, good job. I just destroyed them. The, well, the, the bandit guy's gonna be a survivor. Maybe he'll get revenge on me. But you know what? It's fair. He killed my family. Supervillain rule 102. Always kill the children first. It's a matter of respect, really. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine a supervillain going, I respect you, and then putting a bullet in son, the other guy's son's head. Just I won't make the child <laughs> watch. <laughs> we just genocided the temple. We're the bad guys here. <laughs> you know, they're the worst guys. We're both villains. It was for the greater good. Not a con. Oh, can you smash that? Did you just- No, it was already cracked. I think. Can you smash it? Because it's cracked? Yeah, you oh, can. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and we're vandalizing the temple for you good measure. You know what? Knowing our villains, this is, this is probably considered to be, like, worse than, uh, than just, you know, the whole genociding all his, uh, all his students thing. What, smashing his property? Ah, yeah. oh, damn it. Yeah, I just... Yeah. Okay, the students are a dime a dozen, but you destroyed my- my pretty backgrounds! I have paid a lots of money for that! <laughs> no, he's Sly, Sly is stealing everything he smashes, so he's really just taking the decorations off the walls and just selling them at a high markup. Yeah. <laughs> just, he stole the, bits of my temple to sell off and he killed my students! The monks came here for free! They live off of bread and water! This cost me money! <laughs> You know, there's no such thing as, like, vi villains or heroes. There's just people you you root for versus pe people who are just assholes. Yeah. And then this guy killed my- He started it by killing my family. Yeah. Really, he should have- he should have killed me to just make sh He was- he was brought this on himself! I mean, sometimes you root for villains. Yeah. Like Slayers. Like Sly. Oh, Slayer. <laughs> yeah. Everybody was kind of- was kind of- well, not your- well- Oh, it's Lena, like, destroyed several villages with pe- There's nothing more on this path. Oh, okay. With people in them, like, made them homeless, assuming she killed- There were a lot of casualties that just weren't on camera. There's a thing you can slide down behind you. Oh. Oh, okay. I see oh, no, no, no. Not there? I missed it. Oh. Back up there. Okay. Straight ahead. Down. Oh! Gowry had, uh... Gowry himself wasn't evil, but he had a pretty evil-looking sword. Yeah, the fucking demon sword. sword a sword of light. light. Why Not as bad-looking as the angel halo, but uh, still pretty gnarly. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh! I have to kill you guys, too. Nothing personal. Zealous is just straight up... You know, monster. He's a literal race. demon. Demon slash amoral. Who's it? Who am I for? Zelgadis started out the series sure trying to be evil. Yeah, then he just kind of forgot about it. He at, at the end of the day, he was just edgy. Yeah. Playing his acoustic but, but guitar. Then he, but then he the, played an acoustic guitar and as I could, the ship sank. Wasn't he like he was voiced by another person and he became voiced by Crispin Freeman and he that's was voiced what I'm by like. some whispery dude who they lost contact with and then got replaced by Crispin Freeman. Which is, you know, an upgrade. A strict upgrade, yeah. Yeah. Never a bad thing to get replaced by Crispin Freeman. To become Crispin oh, Freeman. Oh man, if if Mike had my voice replaced by Crispin Freeman. 
That'd be cool. And then Philia was, uh, again, not herself evil, but from a race of basically Nazi dragons. Dragon Nazis. Like, when we say Nazis, we mean they were literally dragon supremacists. And they did genocide they another hated, race of dragons. They hated all the black dragon. Am I going the... the I don't know. There's a path up here, there's a path down there. We genocided all the black dragons. And we're not sorry. Those were his dying words. I did nothing wrong. He's just like, I don't regret anything. And I was like, oh, well... Okay. And yet he's portrayed as a good guy. Yeah, as if he was right. Ah! I guess kind. I guess kind of. He's just. He's, I guess he's a neutral party of sorts. Oh man, with this new ability, I can be as reckless as fighting as I want to be. Just. I mean, you still fly all over the place. You still take damage from enemies. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I got paranoid there for a second. I wonder if we'll finish this in under two hours. Uh, is this? I, I forget. Does the last? Uh, does Clockwork have levels? I think so. Or no, I think he's just like one big long invasion, single level, like a stretch of a couple challenges, and then the eh, fuck boss. It. I think that's how the last one goes. Yeah, well, then it'll be a nice long, a nice short final stroke. I am missing six. Don't smash that. Oh fuck! How? Do oh no! All right, let's get let's get searching. Hope I can backtrack. Up there. Wasn't being paranoid. You're not enough. looking around much. You're just walking back. Oh, there. I don't know. Look around. Just circle your camera. You have a highest point of view here. Okay. I didn't see anything. Now we can go down. Whoa. What? Trippy. The, the way the camera was reacting was kind of weird. I think I remember a spot where there were uh, bottles in the rafters. Did you get those? I don't think so. Above some hooks? I think these... You're talking about these ones? No. I think it was at the beginning of the level. Fuck. Well... That was when I left. Was it this level that you left? I thought it was the I previous think. level. I don't know. Oh, well, look up top of the... No, I thought maybe there was something on top of that statue. There's not. Just keep going Let's back. Start climbing... Oh, okay. Oh, you, you know what? I have this ability. Yeah? But we don't have the blueprints, so we can't see the clues yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. And maybe the blueprints are in this level. Maybe. Fuck. Darn. Just keep going back. Alright. Fortunately, everything seemed to be reasonably, uh... Traversable. I thought I saw one up there. No, that's this. Oh, there's there's some. You see them? Uh, you're talking about those ones? Yeah. yeah. Those Two. are the rafters I was talking about. Darn. All right. Uh, how am I gonna get back there? Oh. Do we have to like reverse climb up the slide pole? You can't jump from here. That's not. You're never gonna make that. How am I gonna? Can you parkour up on top of that somehow? See what I can do. No. Uh, Is that not happening? I am going to try this. Nope. Can't jump on there. Oh! Here's what I can do. Go up from up here? Yeah. I missed. In slide two, we get a paraglider. Which, you know, very handy. If only. So, here's a question. Can I make it from here to there... Uh, decently close. I mean, you think it's makeable? Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna. I need to go on the off the right side. Nope. Oops. Yes. Good job. Now we just need. Now we need to get above. This these. is fairly. This is fairly close to the beginning of the level too. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Yeah, this is the beginning of the level. Awesome. So I need to get up there. Somehow. I guess if we keep going through the level, we'll reach a point higher than this one that we can jump to it. Yeah, it sounds like... Yeah, like up up here. We'll have to use the bouncy thing. Maybe. No? No. Uh, it'll be from the... It'll be further up. Yeah, there's like a checkpoint up there I saw. Wow, this is easier without the alarms. Yeah, almost as if this is just a fairly normal uh, pathway that monks use to train. All right, are there any up here as well? Probably. That's actually how monks do their training. Like the past, their temples are uh, American uh, American Ninja Warrior style obstacle courses. <laughs> you have to get here every day. If you miss a day of training, then then you miss a day of training. And you have to go into the cold and, like, reflect on this. You have to jump over a tree from birth. And as the tree grows, the jump gets higher. Is that... Go back outside. Were we above it yet? Oh, we were circling, yeah. Damn it. This is very complicated. No, I don't no. think so. We're still at ground level. Gotta go up. Now, are there any in here that we missed? I don't know. There's a big room. You know, at least we killed. didn't walk around completely. Jump down, stay on the floor, just circle the entire perimeter of the wall. Okay, check behind the starting pillars. There it is. Fuck. Gotta be thorough. You weren't being thorough at all. Alright, so... Early, when we were going through here, you could have said that, and now you're just like... Silent. Silent. I, I was I was enthralled by the monkeys and their discipline. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> no, my dad's not an alcoholic. He just lacks discipline. You see that episode? No, I had. Is that South Park? Yeah. Dis when uh, I think they decided that uh, Randy was an alcoholic and they were treating it like a really serious disease and he was like in like a wheelchair. Oh yeah, oh I saw that it was, it was I think like, that was the one with the bleeding Virgin, statue. Oh yeah, Virgin Mary's bleeding out of her It's ass, a miracle. Like, there's nothing there's nothing out here? Uh this is is this Seriously? where we can jump down? No, it's not. What the fuck? Maybe there were bottles out here before. Or maybe this is just the other side of that broken path. Probably. So nothing over okay. there. Uh, that way's the way to go. I have I have a feeling there's something over here that I missed. Okay, just remember you can't circle jump onto that thing, so don't try that. There's nothing here. No. Oh. All right. Well, we have distance now, so. So this out here is where we are able to jump elevation. From. The gap, I guess. Wait, what? Oh. Oh yeah. I re I remember this glitch. It still shows their thing. Uh, Monkeyest nunchuckiest. Oh. Nothing <laughs> stopped his training. Not even death. <laughs> They're still training. The Moogook Squad. Yeah, it still shows them after killing them. <laughs> I guess. I guess just because maybe we weren't supposed to be able to reach them, they had to have known that people- Ah! Fuck's sake! Ben fuck! Start climbing! <laughs> I'm suddenly reminded of that show, uh, Boiling Points. That you want to hit- you want, you want to talk about the height of, like, reality TV callousness? Uh, there was a show called Boiling Points, it was like a hidden camera show, and it was basically a bunch of people trying to piss off a bunch of random, like, bystanders. If they managed to, like, 
make it through a certain, like, time, like, a predetermined amount of time without, like, giving in to their anger, they win $100, and it's revealed, hey, you're on boiling points, Good, congratulations. Wow. It's okay, they, it's a show, bro! And if they, uh, and if they get, uh, if they get angry enough to either call the police or swear, then they, they're disqualified, and they say, hey, it's a hidden gamer show, chill the fuck out, you could've won $100. Wow. Should've been more paid. Yeah, it was rewarding people who were, like, who had high patience, but his, but, like, who were willing to put up with being blatantly trolled. Yes. It's the height of that shit. I'm like, what a mean game show. Yeah, sounds it. <laughs> I couldn't help but watch it though. I have a problem. I was like, because I'm, I'm trying to think. Like, some of the situations were, uh, oh, some of them were like people blatantly getting their money ripped off. Yeah. Except they we give them the back their money at the very end of it, and it's like, it's like. That's that's going too far. When you start fucking with people's money for the sake of a show, yeah. Like what you need. Then there's others where it's like people taking a person's laundry and just like putting it in in their own fucking like laundry basket. Yeah. And uh, and uh, <laughs> that I don't know if that was more acceptable or not. I don't, I imagine probably not. Yeah, just right in the center is where the plat firewood right. platform is. There we go. And then... If only we could throw our stick, like, uh, Ratchet throws his wrench. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, so we're still more... missing two! Just keep going. Well, where could they be? The level, I guess? Oh. No, not over there? Okay. Unless it was at the very beginning, we didn't- you didn't go all the- all the way Oh, back. stop with that- that blame. I'm just saying. That's the only place I think we haven't checked. You're, I, gonna, you're gonna fall again. Now it's you're not just here. pointing fingers. I mean, do you want me to point out every mistake you make as you make it? Because I can do that. You're gonna fall again. There's nothing I here. I know. I'm going. I'm going back to the beginning of the level. Okay. Cause. Oh, it did that automatically. Yeah, I checked up to here and there was nothing. Oh, careful, it'll automatically stop. Stop! Okay. There's not here. We checked now. Yeah, I checked before, and you're just like, I didn't see you check. Well, we checked. Proof to do. And like when we started the level, we checked. <laughs> but we did that for the whole level, and obviously we missed some, so. <laughs> Always check your list twice. You looking for the bottles? Indeed, we are. Yep. We don't know where they are yet. Do you want me to take over? Uh, do you know where they are? No. No. I'm just checking the bottom because now I'm checking everywhere. Okay. You, you, I, I start to check everywhere. Are you going too slowly? You want no, me to just, take over? I'm just asking because you've now checked the whole level twice, except the very end of the level, which has only been checked once. Which is probably where that it was is. weird. That was. Auto tracking. I'm having problems. Alright, let's try this just, again. Yeah, just go through now, I guess. Yep, I'm gonna speed run this as quickly as I can. We checked behind both pillars in the temple room, right? Yeah, we did. And there's only one of the, of the safes. Ooh. That was a mistake. <laughs> Could have fucked up royally there. You think the level that has the uh, blueprints on it is designed to be easier bottles than? other ones well I would hope so like that would that would be good game design that'd be something I would fucking do have you gotten the safes on the other levels yes we have yeah it, it, there's not really no reason to like not 100% these as you go through them I don't think there's any one which is like requires a well none of them are required but you get abilities for them so you best way to get those is when you still have game left to play oh wait hold on oh no Good to be thorough. So side. I was thinking like they would do that, but well, nope. Invisible wall. Can't walk in there. See, that's a clever hiding spot. Under the floorboards. Where'd you hide the drugs, uh, Panda Express? Pan sorry, Panda King. I hid them in giant rings at the end of every zone. No one will suspect. Oh, my Chaos Emeralds are gone. 
I've gotten them but can't remember them. I've completed the game 100% before. This is uh, Jack playing right yeah. now. Oh, wait. Can you climb up that rope in the center of the chandelier? Oh. Looks a little high. Probably not. Oh, no. Nope. I got burned. Well, tried that. Temple of fire. Did you hit the gong? I did. I don't know why that would do anything, but you never know. Try going around the it, other pillar. It makes two bottles drop. That'd be cool. Nothing. Out of the balcony? I mean, we already we already checked the balcony. Can we see any from around here? Uh, the, check the sides of the building. No, I don't see no. any. Yeah. Okay. Oh, another stealth game I liked was Hitman. Yeah. The N64 one? Uh... PS2? Uh, I, I, I played the 360 uh, re-releases. Ah. I played uh, Silent Assassin. Silent Assassin had some pretty weird, uh, janky mechanics, but it was funny. I tried walking up to the main, uh, main doorway in a suit holding, like, a box of flowers, and the guards were, like, suspicious, and I said to them, like... I just want to deliver flowers, and they started shooting me. I'm like, what did I do wrong? I'm just a flower delivery man! They knew. <laughs> I didn't have my gun or anything. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to go back down. I guess so. Nothing over there. So we're missing two, right? Yeah. Is there anything it's... under this alcove? I thought maybe. No, that's just. Oh, well, kind of. I don't think you can land down there. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, wait. Hold you can on. Go for it if you want. Nope. Oh, right. We have uh, anti gravity. We're full yeah, good. Yeah, so it's literally no reason to not try it. Uh, Just do the Donkey Kong uh, strat. Jump into every hole. Did it? Nothing down there. Well, I guess I am climbing. New shit. Oh, what's that to the right? No. Around the circle. We went up that. We went over there. Around the dress. circle. Oh. Uh. No. Maybe. Oh no, because I I went out here to grab to go back to the first part of the level and uh, yeah. Uh, anything over here? No. We're over here, and there's still nothing. Um, no. Go back to the other side, the other path, where the firework platform was. Okay. You think there's more over there? I mean, we didn't check there we, again. Hold on. No. Wait, what's over there? That's where the firework platform goes. All right. I'm gonna check this area again. Wait, what's under us? Oh yeah, that's that. So. No. Hmm. This is disconcerting as fuck. Nothing. Just doesn't exist, huh? I guess. Well, we got a good vantage point over here. Let's just do some. I guess back to the end of the level. No safes, no bottles, no nothing. I mean, we saw the final safe. Yeah, I'm just double checking. Oh. I think we've been thorough on up to the up to this point. I'm just gonna. I forget if we keep bottles between. Uh... Yeah, you, or not. I don't think you have to collect them again. Pretty sure. Alright, well, look around while you're hanging on these. No. No. Oh my fucking god. This is obtuse as fuck. Okay, now we're up here. 
and there's nothing. You know, we're in here. This is the alarm section. Break the vases. They wouldn't be in there, but. Bottles inside bottle. Wait. What? Uh, maybe if. Maybe they're out right here. Get as close to this as I can without breaking it. As long as you don't swing, you won't break it. Nothing down there. Wow, this is. Uh. Okay. Uh, you Let's should probably get a guide up. Let's just get the key. We'll do the other uh, other levels. What if this one is the one with the... What if it's not? And we get the blueprints in another one, then come back. Oh my gosh. Big risk, but oh well. Big risk. Well, we'll, have to, we'll just have to go through the level again. We just did it like three times. Oh, fuck. That is, that is a big pile of shit. Oh, at least we got the keys. All right, one more. Oh no, never mind. Just hit it. It's time for revenge and money. We get to sell the the hinge thing. Did we get all the portals here thus far? Yeah. Are you sure? Y yes, because otherwise we wouldn't have gotten all the keys. No, there are usually one more portal than is one, needed. two, three. What's up, that trampoline? Four. Wait. Yeah, four. Fuck. That one, that's probably this one then. No? That one down there is probably where we entered the yes. world. Yes. Is that this? I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. You can walk up to it and I'll show you. We the did level two levels in. We did this one. Yeah, we did that one. Pretty sure we did this one. Oh, oh. This is that over there is where we entered the world. Yep. All right, go on ahead. The hell is your paper doors can't stop me. Oh shit! More fireworks. Oh, we're gonna ride the fireworks. Yeah, that's. That's that safe. Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to You'll go out with a bang. Yep. Seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Yep. I'll steal them in no time. All right, let us continue. <laughs> da, 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 da. You can't see me, motherfucker, because I'm a raccoon. Just suddenly a raccoon appears out of nowhere and hits you. Oh. Rapid track shooter. Yeah! Love track shooters! Get to shoot everything. It's low effort and as fuck. It's rapid fire assault, because every level got to have fire in it. What? Can't hear you shooting stuff! Yeah, this is stealthy! Man, this here's a modified version of that bio craft we use. See, we put it on a hovercraft and equipped it with this flamethrower natural fireball device. We gonna shoot some monkeys in China. Yeehaw! Is this like a red it's like <laughs> some martial artists versus a couple of rednecks, one of them with like a like a turret like not a Jeep mounted 50 cal. I had fun in the Bayou chapter. Oh yeah, not to say this isn't fun, but it's... you can move and fire, can't you? I'm trying to listen to this. Please do your part to kill him on sight. At least he's polite. Yeah. Also, these monkeys with. Nunchucks versus a guy with a machine gun. It's a little mismatched. Yeah. 
Like, they spend how many years just training non-stop in the same spot forever and ever, only to get, like, killed in an instant. How oh, disappointing. Who's really the bad guy here? Pro pro yeah, probably the guy burying villages. Yeah. Probably that guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, they probably beat their wives or something. Who, the monkeys? Yeah. No, they're, uh, they're monks. They're, they're sworn to... What's that thing priests are supposed to do? Celibacy? Yeah. Thou silence? Like, you never hear of Tibetan monks fucking, right? Apparently from... Uh, this is all anecdotal information, but... But apparently, uh, they're, like... Tibetan monks are allowed to, like, uh... Like, act, like, like, jack up. They're not allowed to, uh, finish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Is, is that better or worse than celibacy? <laughs> you know, it all depends on your, uh, your perspective. <laughs> are we sure that, uh... Are we sure that that doesn't apply to priests, too? Because, like, the, bib the the theory that, like, the super diehard biblical Christians have is that you don't want to waste the seed, right? Yeah. Uh, so I'm as long as you're not a, doing that... I'm guessing it's like uh, the pleasures will be distracting, so don't do eh. it. This is some loud gunfire! Gunfire is usually loud! At least you don't have to worry about collecting bottles. Yeah, just shooting stuff. They're very inaccurate with these uh, minion snowballs. The second game elaborates on the con combat a lot more in that uh, every enemy is not a one-hit kill and one-hit death. Yeah. We get uh, health bars. Yep. Which, uh, which means mistakes are more tolerated. To some degree. Also, the second game is a lot more fun. Yeah, you get... Just in terms of the story and... Uh, more characters, more abilities. More hilarity of... Oh, I missed. More ridiculous scenarios. <laughs> Have the you reason why I want to get through this game is so I can get to that game. Have you played the fourth? Nah, we have not. We've actually not even played the third. We have not on stream, but privately played through the first two games, 100% of them. And we bought the third one, so we're going to be doing the trilogy. And I haven't, uh, I don't have the fourth one. That's on PS3, right? There's like I believe Thieves, so. Thieves in Time, I yes, think it's called. that is the one. And, uh... I mentioned this a couple times. I actually know one of the voice actors from the second game. I don't think he was involved in this one. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, Wait, Sam has worked with Sucker Punch. Mr. Eagle. Oh, that's how I was supposed to avoid that guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, well, joke's on, on him, I guess. I got invisibility powers. A desperate race? Oh, off. yeah. You know what? Let's not do any more. Let's find a level that could potentially have the fucking, uh... No, you don't want... You're gonna have to race eventually. Well, eventually is not today. Let me put it off as long as possible. We get the fucking thing so we can, like, finish that level properly. Where is... Where is everything else? There is literally anything else. The road of by and by leads to the house of Never. Well, That's the, road, a the road of eventually uh, uh, may contain leads to the house. Leads to the house of Nether. Never. I think it's a Chinese proverb. Here we Duel go. by the. Dr oh, this one. Okay. I think this is the one. Are you sure? Hey, Shenron. No, you're not sure. I am pretty sure. Well, let's begin. It's oh. Forty. On, on, a, <laughs> on a move on a level, we're going to be moving on. Oh. Well, uh, let's just keep going then. Are those like mandrels? Like super swole mandrels? Is that uh, another like mega Rafiki? <laughs> we had what we were watching Avatar: The Last Airbender, and like the king's pet was a giant. Oh, that's cute. Shut up, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you can't say that. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's their I word. That's their word. I I don't know for sure, but I feel like that would be 
you racist to raccoon furries. Yeah. Just ring tail. First time I heard that, like, no, legitimately, the, when I played this game the first time I heard that, I'm like, wait, is, is that a slur? Where my ring is at? <laughs> did we did get, did we get yeah, all the things up uh, there? Hope we're really sure. Shoot me! No, just keep going. If we miss bottles, we can enter the level again. Bottles are bottles keep. You know, maybe you should invest in a real gun. Yeah. With bullets. That move faster than that. What are we just talking about? Shut up, Ringtail. No, before that. Uh we were like interrupted by Ringtail. Uh Fuck, I don't know. Whose voice? Uh, Sam Mowry is the voice of Arpeggio the Parrot. Yes. And also voices, uh, what's his name? Kessler or Keffler? The bad guy from Infamous. Kessler. Alright. Yeah, at least they're all grouped together. And, you know, yeah. she's not destroying the fucking city as, like, causing millions of dollars of property damage. She's also very inaccurate. You missed one. Down. Down. Did I miss? Yes. Oh, come on! You missed the safe. Right there in front of you to the left. On your screen like five times. It's blurring into the background! You're blind. That's why it's blurring. Shut your mouth! It has a similar color as the fucking snow! Oh, gotta use the firework and just dodge on this little platform. Here we go. Working. Now the people who are who are like trying to attack me, the mandrills, they're uh, they're undercover. Oh, that's what we were talking about. Was Mega Rafiki? Yeah. King so Rafiki. the King Boomy had a giant like mandrill like thing. No, it wasn't a mandrill. It was a uh, it was a painted face ape. It no, was... it was the Zoo Escape episode had a giant mandrill monkey thing, right? Yeah. When Ang the tales of bossing say yeah, it was Aang a had giant fucking monkey. Yeah, and we called it like Mega Rafiki. Giga Rafiki. No, Mega Rafiki. Oh, uh, I thought it was Giga. No, it was. Then we watched the Bleach arc with the, the Godfrey Ho arc with the ninjas. Oh, yeah, my favorite arc. And the, one of the bad guys was like an evil advisor who uh, looked. was human, but looked like a mandrel. Yeah, I just. And just, actually turned out. wasn't he like really powerful? Yeah, I think so. Or he like invented the. or he like used the bot. the fake. Uh, I think he ended up kind of swole at some point, and we yeah. called him Mega Rafiki. Oh, yeah. That's where Giga Rafiki came from. Oh, no, we called the first one Ultra Rafiki. That was it, yeah. <laughs> there was another one recently we saw. Was there a... Was it in JoJo we saw a giant monkey thing? Oh, yeah, Strength. The... No, no, no. There was a... There was a more mandrel one we saw in something. I don't remember what it was, though. We're good here. We can keep going. So, wow, she just... Down? She just can't... That is a vague This is platform. a blind spot. No, you just go across the wooden slats okay. there. I don't want to try to jump in the center, then suddenly... Oh, fuck. Okay, good. Yeah, I worked... Uh, I took a voice class at university that uh, Sam graciously lent his uh, insights to. And I did a uh, did a stage show with him and his, uh, his crew in Portland. Yeah, the... So that was fun. I saw him when he was, like, doing the... F he does a great Orson Welles. Yeah, he does the best Orson Welles. I think he's, uh... I think he's doing War of the Worlds again. In, uh... This Halloween season of this year. Well, that was a mistake. Dead. Oh, no. No? Oh! I, oh, you were right about to pick up the... I got shot while trying to pick up something that would prevent me from getting shot. You got shot reaching for your bulletproof vest. <laughs> I got shot! I got shot! I got shot! No, I mean, I really got shot! Call an ambulance! <laughs> this is the concept of a rapper getting shot while at a, while at a concert playing... Singing playing. about how he got shot. Yeah. That was blatantly a 50 Cent joke, right? Yes! Because 50 Cent was famously the rapper who got shot like a... Fuck, and and like monetized a fuck ton of the hell out. Yeah, he's like... He made an album called Bulletproof. Yeah, and a game. Like, okay, although to be fair, if I got shot like, 
like set eight times that I survived. I would fucking brag about that shit. That is something to be bragged about. I think there was also Oops. a Boondocks episode that specifically featured 50 cents in that regard. Yeah, it wasn't getting shot. Or maybe it was that same episode and it was that same guy. Can I get up there? I don't think not from here. Oh darn. She's very being yeah. very patient up there. Yeah! You got a clear line of sight. No, it's just oh, ring she... tail! I'll ring get... tail! I'll get you! You're just on it. What was the name of that show? Uh, the the angry angry video game. What? No, the show you were just talking about. Oh, uh, it, the boiling point. Oh, boiling point. You're yeah. on boiling point. That's why we called you racial slurs. <laughs> you should light it, lighten up, bro. I think th I don't think they went that far. They never <laughs> played uh, hateful characters, just ignorant and greedy characters. Yeah. So, as long as you keep moving, she basically can't hit you. Just don't stop. That is the, the that is the reality show equivalent of Oh what the fuck? Yeah, I guess you gotta wait for her to shoot them. Thank you, Carmelita, you're a great help. Couldn't do it without you. It's like it's the reality show equivalent of allowing giving somebody enough rope to hang themselves with. Uh, yeah. Oh safe behind you. Sorry, I'm not grabbing all these and then you said safe. There it is. So I know that well I don't know. I've heard Keep safe down there, too. Fuck. Gotta be thorough. I've heard that Sly 3 had a problem of... Some people think it's a problem of too many playable characters. Which, we haven't gotten to this yet, but I felt was the case with Spyro 3. Because that introduces a bunch of other uh, playable characters. Oh, is that, is that the fact? That you have to do levels with. Uh. And I don't think they were as fleshed out or as no. fun as Spyro. So that uh, kind of detracted from Spyro 3 for me. Uh, Crash 3 had Coco, but that was it. It yeah. did have the... Crash 3 did kind of the same thing in that it introduced all these different non-platforming game modes. Like the jet ski and the planes and the blimps and every, every other thing that I joked about while I was playing Crash 3. Is that it's a platformer game where only like 20% 20, 20 of the levels are platforming. Yeah, because nobody likes platforming anymore. That's I mean, a dead genre. I, I, I did. Or, or... I, I missed platforming. I, that was a joke! Yeah. I like platforming too. There's not enough of it anymore. Everybody decided, hey, you know what needs to be done to death? FPSs. That's not a sissy I, I'm glad they experimented, but it was a little oversaturated in Crash 3. I would have liked a more platforming. Just because that was kind of the base game. Like, I buy a platforming game to platform. If I wanted something else, I would buy a different game. You don't want a racing game and, and a fucking uh, shooting game. Like, oh, people are just buying it because it's it's Crash. It's their favorite character. It has nothing to do with the game itself. They don't like... This, let's just there, let's market game, this. Well, it's like they turned a game into like a variety show type thing. They did, yeah. Like, and it's like... I don't even like that in pro wrestling, much less video games. Like, let's have one pro wrestler play five different characters at the same time. Oh, and McFoley. So you, at the same time, so you can't really get accustomed to any one of them. I don't know, maybe it's like that. I, I, my analogies are off. Well, it's like... Well, they obviously can't do it at the same time because... Uh, oh, I thought we were going to shoot her for a second. Oh, that would be mean. At, we say as she shoots us repeatedly. Well, she's just trying to do her job. It's okay, it's set to stun. Oh, you son of a- It's set to, uh, it's set to stun. Good thing we can't die. As long as she doesn't land a hit on us. She's just firing the same one over and over again. Oh, you don't want to come and play? Where are these going? Just smashing oh, okay. stone walls. Cool. So there's the final safe. Where? Yeah, we just passed it. Fuck! Did we, do we have them all? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, what do you got? Enter it in peace, and then he gets shot while he's doing this. Oh, I hope you serve. I, I hope, 23 is number one. I hope uh, I hope you saw a doctor about that, Bentley. I heard that's fatal. He's going to see a doctor and then he got arrested. Well, like a mock so, doctor. It's okay. He just, yeah. 
Or he puts a like an alias on the like registration form. <laughs> yes! There go we back go. and get the other ones, finally. Let's see here, uh, Mr. Kent C. Koopa, the doctor will see you now. I thank you. That's why that's why Kent Koopa went bad. He, he was like Bentley ruined his reputation. <laughs> Wait, he was like in a hospital and he had to trash it to get away from some fuzz. And, and then after that, Kent C. Koopa was just like, man, he gained 50 pounds too high. No, he was on the run. Yeah, just, he was resorting to becoming a highwayman. Yeah. He had to rob people to make ends meet because he couldn't get any jobs anymore. He had a criminal record. God, the leveling in this game. Yes. I, that was probably valuable. Did, do you think Kung Fu Panda made that, or was it... That was like ancient Chinese architecture, right? Yeah. It's fine. Uh, uh, Murphy and Bentley will pick it up, and they'll sell it on the black market in pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Still valuable. We just raided this temple and, and like got all these all these riches. Oh, you mean all the treasure? Now we sold off parts of the temple. So you say this uh, this statue is thousands of years old? That's well, the stone is. So, so it could be valuable for some like rock collectors. They're insane. They'll pay a lot. Sell it to Jackie Chan. He's an archaeologist. He loves that shit. Now, he'd be pissed off if somebody was like, you know, te tearing temples <laughs> apart. Jackie Chan them. adventures, Jackie Chan just beating the shit out of Sly and company. <laughs> this was the Not first. even like saying, I don't want no trouble. He just finds somebody and just like, this is the one. I don't know. No. We got oh, the, damn. We got the thing for this one already. Nope. We're done here. Ah. <sighs> Oh, well. <sighs> I think that's the mini game, right? The turret. Yeah. Uh, no. Well, yeah. Yes. Is. King of the Hill. Oh no, that's the that's the one with yeah the turret, not the bike. So there, that one. A lot of mini game ones in this world. Flaming Temple of Flame. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's two. That's... Oh, no, three. Alright, let's see if we can see where the hell we're going now. Kung Pao. Oh, they're, so they're over there. Somewhere. Better start well, heading then. that way. <laughs> you get new recruits, I'll kill them too. It's uh, Donnie from the Wild Thornberries. Wild Thornberries was a pretty decent show. Yeah, it was, I think it was animated by the same guys as Rugrats. Yeah, uh, you know what? I saw the the movie where crossover. Uh, yeah, I saw that in theaters. That was with, I did too <laughs> with the Burger King scratch off smell cards. I don't think I got that far, but they had a they had a campaign with Burger King, like Happy Meal toys at the time. Where are the? No, it's the green ones. Okay. Where the Happy Meals, whatever they were called, would uh, come with scratch-off cards with smells from the movie. <laughs> That's, uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we went to Burger Burger King before seeing the movie to get those. And how, how'd that go? Uh, I... Oops. They smelled, I guess. They were scratch cards. There was that scene where, uh... Where Tommy was really pissed off at his kid brother. Oh, you're talking about the Rugrats movie. Yeah. That's different from the crossover movie. Those are different movies. Oh, yeah, you're right. Fuck. I did see that one. Uh, you're right. I, I, but I didn't okay, see the, you're, the one where it was like they're lost in a jungle. Yeah. And, and Tommy was like, you know what? You're no brother of mine. And he's like about to like pour like monkey. He was about to pour baby food on him so that the monkeys would, like, steal him, I think. Then he, then he realizes, I, I can't do this. I, I can't do it. If I do it, I'd be no better than a monkey. Check your binocs. I remember not feeling, like, really sad about it, but uh, but my parents were crying, and I'm like... I, I, I'm gonna admit something. Yes. That was the first time that I cried at a movie. <laughs> Was the uh, Rugrats movie? Yeah, I, well, felt... I was but a wee bat check. You, you, I, it's not over there. I, 
check out that you were just on ah, that path. Fuck, That's on. just back out where you were. Oh, God. You went like a mile without pulling out your things. You sound like a wife. Chill out. I'm on it. Jack, you gotta make this turn. Jack, honey, the restaurant was back that way. Back the way you came. You walk right by it. It's around the corner there. I'm, I, I swear to God, I'm gonna cut your bingo. One of these days, I'm wrong. I'm gonna cut your bingo money in half. Bam! Zoom! Straight to the moon! That guy's not supposed to be a hero, is he? He was a sitcom character. For fuck's sake! I don't know. Oh. Are you fucking there's, kidding there's me? Little, there's little creeper spots. There they are. Uh, I don't feel bad about missing those. See, I told you we missed this turn back at Albuquerque. You missed it too, honey! I wasn't holding the map. <laughs> there was no map! We had to go buy a map! Well, whose problem is that? Both of ours! Don't put blame on me! You didn't know anything. It was an unavoidable situation. Oh, look, honey, is that a hotel? Oh, we don't want to go in there. That's Hotel California. People can't check out. Oh, okay. <laughs> weird place to go with that. That was a, not really lordified, but there was a version of that going around that... Is it sad? No. No? It, it was like a... It was a slowed down, whisper faded version that pe people were using in more than one bad indie horror game. <laughs> <laughs> that it slowed down and whispery, but not lordified. It wasn't that same style. It was okay. it was more like the uh, remember the Dead Space, the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Oh, like just creepy. Just that was the attempt. Welcome back to the hotel. with like radio static. <laughs> um, you know what? Just have Hotel California be the same song, right? Yeah. And then. uh... And then you just you just play it through staticky radio. Yeah. And, and that that'll that that's creepy enough. Yeah. To be quite honest. I mentioned my dad hates that song, right? Yeah. I don't you mentioned know. that's his uh, his like hated song. Yeah. I played you... that song on the radio when we were driving back from dropping my brother off with his girl girlfriend or something, and uh, and he was just like, "No, fuck that song. Stop playing it." And I'm like, why? I, I don't like that song! And I'm like, okay. And you said you felt that way about uh, Sweet Home Alabama. Was yeah, I can't stand that song. I heard, well, I just heard it so, mu so much from, like, all these different sources. Everybody was fucking singing it. Everybody was fucking playing it. Yeah. I think there were two songs that, oh, and you also mentioned uh, We Built This City, You Can't Stand Hearing. Uh, I've, I've softened on that. That was mostly bias from, uh, a shitty, uh, like, top 100 worst songs list. Yeah. And that was number one. I think some of the ones that I really dislike hearing because they're so overplayed or whatever reason. I Want You to Want Me. I always change the radio when that comes on. Which one is that? That goes, uh... I think it's the Monkees, but I'm not sure. It's just that over and over again. Oh, wait, I on. want you to want me. I need you to need me. Oh, that's sounds... with fake teenage girls screaming on and off throughout the whole song. Wait. Written in dialect. Well, boy, howdy. We're gonna write here this here code, and they'll never decipher it. No, they won't. Oh, you mean hieroglyph? Owl dialect? You mean hieroglyphics? No, that would be a writing language. Okay, so uh. So, this is all for nothing, because we couldn't open the fucking thing anyway! Oh yeah, this is the... the final one. We need to beat the final boss before we can open it. Jesus Christ. Alright. I don't know why, but... All for nothing! So we've gotten... that means that we've gotten all of them. All that we have left to do is that driving level. <sighs> Are you sure that's the only one? I thought there was like... Several yeah. more levels. Unless that. there's another level, we, there can't be another level with a uh, safe because it only does that for the very final safe. Uh, Flaming Temple of Flame, we can't get. Rapid Fire Assault, Duel by the Dragon. Okay. Just the desperate and... race. Alright, let's race. 
And uh, I see. I didn't. I didn't take the the road of maybe later. I just took the path. The the uh, I took the scenic route. Okay. Where is the? Oh, it's uh. Yeah, we're, this is the first area. So you oh yeah. Down so the I got again. I gotta drop down the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the box. I also. I don't know how people feel about this. I also have kind of grown sour on uh, Don't Stop Believing. Because oh. it's so incredibly overplayed. I don't dislike the song, but... Just I just need a break from it for a couple years. Maybe you should play the any way you want, and it, that's the way you need it. That, Not crazy your... about that one, either. Uh, What other ones did they do? I had the Tiger? No, that was Survivor. Oh. What are you doing down there? That's what eat snow cones for, for energy. Monkeys are everywhere. <laughs> monkeys All of a sudden, are monkeys are everywhere. Monkeys can't drive. They, by the way, speaking of monkeys, there's this pro wrestler I really fucking like called Space Monkey. Yeah. He really he has a tail and he uses it in his matches. Oh. It's like really. He just ch like chirps and stuff. Like, okay, how do I race? It's uh, with the stick. Oh yeah, you're right. It's Shit. weird. All right, gotta retry. He said I don't lose lives. Yeah. I forget. How did how did you feel about Crash Bash? Uh, have I played that? I don't remember. The party game PS One. Uh, I thought it was all right. I guess. Games. I'm gonna do that after I do CTR. I did. It does have a. Uh, you can do the fucking ice. You can do the story mode two player. We just have to. Oh commit, sweet. We just have to commit through through the whole thing. Because you can't yeah. like, switch to one player. Well, that was cool, but it won't win us the race. Oh my god. Hey Murray, I saw that. It was pretty awesome. Too bad it was useless. Cool but useless maneuvers, Murray. So, if remember from last time, the best time to use boost is coming out of a turn to regain your momentum. All right. Oops. Fuck. We didn't actually anticipate Jack having the day off today. Yeah, I, uh... So, uh, uh, a coworker of mine was like, "Hey, uh, I need uh, I need Friday off. You want me to cover tomorrow, and then I'll uh, and you can cover my Friday." And I'm like, "Oh, my uh, Zelrog is off." Uh, well, half day for school. has a half day tomorrow. So, yeah, sure. So what was going to be me solo streaming? We're doing this now. Yeah. Sorry to ruin your plans. That's fine. I'll have plenty of time to solo stream this summer. Yes. Up. Last lap. Was it the last lap? Shit. No! Cool but useless, Murray. This seems like it's a shorter. Uh... Maybe. I don't know. It's just the same um, game as last time, but with ice physics. Yeah, that, that always adds to challenge. Sure, oh, the road, shit. asshole. I think I lost. Never give up. Believe in the heart of the wheels. Nothing's impossible. Okay, this is impossible. Those stupid monkeys. They got lucky. Because <laughs> China. Yeah, we have any problems in France. Where they drive on the left side. America's the only like. America is is the only like outlier. There are some others. Canada. Mexico. No, there are European countries that are also right siders. Oh, German? Germany? I think they are a minority, but. Das Auto. Das Auto. Fuck, I missed. Do you think, uh. Do you think, uh, Thieves in Time will have the gall to deal with Nazis? Oh! <laughs> Maybe some vague fascists. They're not, like, gonna be explicitly Nazis. 
I mean, the the the, the player base of the Sly series has, has grown up. So it's okay, right? You gotta grow with your audience. You know, uh, Spielberg made Schindler's List, right? And he's yeah. like, after that, he's like, I can't make another fucking, I can't make Indiana Jones about Nazis anymore. This Schindler's List was too depressing. Yeah. So he, so he spent like a while trying to figure out like, what's an enemy I can like, I can use without like any kind of net moral re repercussions. Uh, Russians, that's it. And then we get to four and we're dealing with aliens. That was four. It was uh, Alien Russians. Oh, okay. So I you think. saw that movie? No, I never seen it. I'm just ex extrapolating. They're making five now. I'm not surprised. I mean, you might, you might as well jump on that train while uh, Harrison Ford's still alive. As long as as long as long we're, like, making more and more movies of series that don't need more movies. Star Wars. No, that needed more movies. Yeah. Because Disney said so. They have the license! We gotta use it. If only, says Chad. Darn, the no Nazis in Sly Cooper. Only racist foxes. What would the, uh, the Nazis be? Like, Just Nazis. Ger German shepherds? What? Well, what species would they be is Just what I'm saying. Straight up, why do they need to be a single species? Just straight up animal Nazis. Well, what would, the race Nazi, would, what the would Nazis, they be? What would they be Nazis against? The Nazis weren't all Aryans. I don't know, ringtails? We hate all raccoons. Like, what would be a fox that, uh, a fox, an animal that, uh, gets, uh, the shit, the shit into the stick in anthropomorphic history? Uh... Dogs? Rabbits? I don't know. Dog? I was, because Sonic, no dogs. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, that's right, there are... That's why there are no dogs in Sonic. Oh! That's worse than the chocolate theory! I mean, we had. I'm sure there are dog. I, we, okay, we had Sonic AIDS. We had Sonic 9/11. Now we bring you the Sonic Holocaust. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic cost. Maybe, maybe all the dogs were the Nazis. And... Turtles says chat. <laughs> oh, Bentley, no! Oh no! God damn it! Were there any turtles in Sonic? Yes. There was a one, and it was Sonic's friend, and he tragically died. In, like, a comic? Yes. Wow, this guy is a dick! Yeah. Slow down! Go the speed limit, asshole! Woo! Oh my god. Almost. Fuck's sake! <coughs> they made me look bad. I really hope the second game does have better leveling. I don't remember it that well. Yeah, this... <laughs> leveling in... I don't think... This is back when leveling was just more like a guideline. Like, we just... checked the game options, right? There was no, uh, no way to change the voice level higher and the music lower. Nope. Oh my... What's the opposite of a rubber band AI? Magnetism AI? Like, AI that does better the farther ahead of you it already is. Yes. Is that magnet AI? Or like it does know. better the closer you get or something? I think that's just called snowballing. Right? The ones who are already no. ahead get exponentially more No, and that's more a ahead. microphone and or a sexual thing I'm not comfortable saying over, over Twitch. Awesome nuts. It's called snowballing. Okay. There we go then. Which is, is funny because we snow... I don't know why I did war in China. God damn it! What? Ah! I'm not gonna make it. I don't like these racing levels because they don't they don't behave like a proper Because they're different controls with a stick. Yeah, I if you're gonna give me a racing game, give me one give me the fucking gas and I should that's I think this is unique. You want me to try? Uh, give me a couple more chances and I'll do it. What's... What video did we mention Sonic 9-11 in? Was that an After Dark? I think so. Uh... 
the episode of Sonic X where Sonic the Hedgehog, our hero, crashes a plane into the White House. Yes, uh, he crashes. But it's the okay to say it's to save the president. Yeah, he wasn't like malicious. He wasn't like he was trying to like do it to like promote like. Uh, but still. It was crashing it was... a plane into the White House in a post-2001 cartoon. That was ballsy as sh as fuck! Put on some Eurobeat always helps. Claims oh, chat. Oh yeah, cuz uh... I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. This is totally like German dance club music. Uh, he's, he's, making a, he's making a reference to uh... To... Uh... Fucking uh... Initial D. Oh. Is that that like heavily Eurobeat? Yes. Running in the 90s! Was that from Initial D? Yes. I've seen that memed around, I never knew where it was from. Yeah. Deja vu, I have been in this place before. The only thing I know about Initial D is that, uh, Lucky Star parodied it. Everybody did. It's, it's famous in Japan. Yeah. That's the only parody I've seen of it was the Lucky Star one. It was a good parody, though. Come on! Inch it closer! That was a bad time to do it. You stupid fucking racer! I don't think they even- You play it! I don't think they even use the boosts. They just steal them so you can't get them. Arr! So fucking close! Alright, it's- I'm, I'm in control now. Just get the key, Murray. It couldn't be easier. I'm scared to fucking drive on ice! Yeah? As you probably should be. What's the boost button? Uh, square. Okay. Out of the way, asshole! Oh, there goes one boost. I just don't like it when a game just decides, hey, we're gonna completely change genres on you. Yeah. Because A, oh, the genre crash. I mean this has Sly One has plenty of these. It's not as many as Crash does, and I would say the other characters in Spyro are mostly platforming. They have a couple different elements to them. Like I I like it when a game it, it's just like consistent because then I can get to a groove and I know what I'm expecting. But then suddenly it's like, no, fuck you, you're racing now. It's they just did like, that a lot in these kind of platform games. That the mascot. It's platforms. like, what? You think we could get bored with it? Did you run out of ideas? What the fuck were you thinking? Just find a new, innovative way to do the platforming thing. No, that requires work. We're just gonna put our racing game in. Turn, Murray. Come on. Come on, Hippo Man, I believe in you. Damn it. That was probably it. I need that. I need that. I got that. Out of the way! Oh! Damn it! Close. Very close. Just fucking inches away! Maybe maybe I should uh, save up boosts and then just use a bunch of them on the final stretch. Then you won't be able to get past any of the other five uh, maybe, we'll see. to go to racers. All but the first one seem pretty meh. The Pagoda Racers. That sounds like a, a group in uh, Wacky Races. Remember those? Oh yeah. God, I haven't. That's a game I've missed. Just game. I, wacky races, yeah. You mean that was a game? Part? That was an actual game. Made a game based off of Wacky Races. Okay, but it was a cartoon series first. Yeah. I I need. Is that worth watching? You think? I don't know. I've actually never seen it. That was the first of the Hanna Barbera. Let's put all our shit in one show. Things though, wasn't it? I think because they had Hanna Barbera cam cameo characters all the time in that. Yeah. That sounds fun. It's like it's like a you know multiplayer crossover. Oh, the game you mean? No, just uh, just in general. I like I like it when you have like a giant crossover with a bunch of things. It's like yeah. they're all connected in the universe. Smat, we said this a few times before. Hanna Barbera loved to do that. Is that uh, like after a while they had enough properties that their thing became 
just like self parodies of all their own former properties. Yeah. Like Space Ghost and uh, Harvey Birdman yeah. and uh, what else? Brack. Yeah, Br you remember Brack, Brack? Was a spin off of Space Ghost. Yeah. He was originally a villain in oh, Space Ghost. Oh, Sea Life 2021. That was one of them. And uh, that uh, that one insurance commercial, MetLife, I think it was. Yeah. No, that was a bunch of, not not even just Hanna-Barbera. Well, you're the racing master. Yeah, saving up the thing seemed to be the way to go. Yeah. Because it was rubber band AI, it seemed like. Like, if, once he got ahead, he would uh, really put the gear on. I did it! Just wait till next time when we get to actually play as the other two. <laughs> I'll show you how stupid I am. Alright, are we done? Is that all? Well, we gotta go fight the panda! Alright, let us uh, fight We the gotta panda. beat up Poe. Let's do it! Gonna f there was a... Uh, one, of the, one of the girls on my bus, the, one of the high schoolers, started singing the Kung Fu fighting song. And another one got mad at her because she was ruining... The Kung Fu Panda movie for her. I don't know how, just I guess by being annoying with that song. God. Flame Fu. Carry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Yeah. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Rakuna. Kind of a fake George Takei going on there. Now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? People are dying! Just like me. No, You're like me. Fun. I am a thief from a long <laughs> line of master thieves. While you? You're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent giant. Yeah, he's not he's not stealing, he's just extorting. Extortion is not thievery. Yeah. Steal. Extort extortion's very obvious. Thievery's subtle. I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Okay. Flame foo. Very, very original. So yeah, just dodge and go whack him. This is the most straight up fight in the game. Oh hey. Well, hey, jazz hands! That voice sounds familiar. I wonder who he is. Uh, bear some investigation. That might also uh, be uh, my invisibility's not working. That might also be Kevin Michael Richardson or Phil Lamar, which are basically the Samuel L. Jacksons of uh, voice acting. They're like, everything. If the, no, if there's a black character in something, it's either Phil Lamar or Sa or Kevin Michael Richardson, one of the two. <laughs> Kevin was the voice of the uh, the fat black cop in Gravity Falls. Oh, is he? That's you thought, did you think he was Phil? You thought you, he was Phil Lamar? I think I did. Phil Lamar, the best, the most not notable role I remember from him is the, uh, he's a fella in Jack 2, who was also big and buff and black. <laughs> and obviously he was Samurai Jack, but that was, a uh, that was an exception to the rule. Well, he was Asian. Where, yeah, he got, got to voice an Asian character. Like, I guess this guy, if one of them is him. I'm guessing it's probably, uh... Sounds a little more like Kevin. Yeah, because Phil, uh, Phil Lamar has a very distinct Asian man voice, so... I guess. I mean, Samurai Jack was never very loud. He was very whispery. Yeah, this guy's very boisterous. Fiery wheel! I win! Just That's the easiest him boss fight ever. <laughs> Kevin Blackton is Panda King and Mugshot. You think that's a, uh... I wonder if that's an alias. Turns out it can... In Russia! Yeah, Russia! Gotta go. Are we almost done with this game already? Well, yeah, there are only five chapters. Yeah. Took us a year and a half to do this game. Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications. Oh, so we just unlocked the ability to go to the final chapter. Nothing tangible. Yeah. 
fuck that. Look, we got guns now. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail. Thus putting an end to his Hot Latin Spitfire puts fiery panda on ice. Makes subtle racial time. slurs in meantime. <laughs> Dude, that comes out that she just dropped the R bomb. You think she'd be thoroughly relaxed? Kicked out. We headed home to plan our next move. Kicked out of Interpol. Yeah, it's just like you're out of Interpol. We can't have racists. So, I wonder if we can get the thing now, or if we do have to beat the game first. A trip to Clockworks Lair. Hey, we've been going two hours. Yeah, let's stop. We'll we should save it till next time. Finish. We'll do the finish the fight next time. Yep. Sounds good. So we'll save here. I think we have to beat the game. I'll double check before next time, and if we can go get it before clockwork, we'll do so. Sounds so, good. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, guys. See you next time. We'll see you next time.